Hey guys, welcome in KK Java tutorial. So in this video tutorial, I uh, will talk about the Java design pattern as this is the introductory video on Java design pattern. So we will see uh, what is Java design pattern or basically design pattern. It's not related to any specific language, right? Uh, we'll see how many types of design patterns are uh, in Java, right? So basically design patterns are very popular among software uh, industry. A uh, design pattern is a well or uh, basically described solution uh, to a common problem uh, by the software expertise, right? So here, uh, first of all, we'll see uh, what is design pattern, why is it important in software industry, and finally, we'll look uh, types of design pattern or categories of design pattern in Java. Yeah. So when we talk about what is the design pattern if somebody asks you what is the design pattern right so well so design pattern can be defined by something like that uh, design patterns are already defined and provide uh, industry standard approach to solve a reoccurring problem uh, while developing the application so it saves time uh, if we sensibly use uh, while developing our application right now next point uh, says uh, using design pattern promotes reusability and leads to more robust and highly maintainable code right if you use design pattern then uh, you can uh, create a code which basically reuse and uh, your uh, maintenance would be easier in the future yeah now third point says uh, since design patterns are already uh, defined or provide a solution by the software expertise right so it makes our code easy to understand and debug uh, it leads to faster development and new members of team easily uh, uh, can understand uh, what what code you have written right now when we talk about the categories of design pattern or types of design pattern in java so in java basically our uh, design patterns we have basically categorized into basically three uh, categories first of all we have a creational design pattern then structural design pattern and finally we have a behavioral design pattern there are some design pattern which we keep in the miscellaneous design pattern or j2 design pattern right so let's see each and every uh category of this design pattern so first of all creation design pattern so these are the five basically design pattern which belongs to the creational design pattern creational design patterns provides different approach to create an object in a uh, best possible way right so if you so these design patterns are basically related to create an object in best possible way or loose couple manner right so uh, when you use this design pattern right using uh, for creating an object then you can avoid a lot of code duplication most of the things you can uh, uh, put in the single class right and what kind of object you need you can pass that uh, class and that class gives you the object rather than creating uh, that object uh, uh, throughout your application right so that's all about the creational design pattern so these are the design patterns comes in the creation design pattern like singleton factory abstract factory builder and prototype yeah now next category of design pattern is called a structural design pattern right name itself saying that what is a structural design pattern right so a structural design pattern uh, basically describes how objects and classes can be combined and form a large structure right so that's all about a structural design pattern and these are the seven design patterns which belongs to the uh, basically structural design pattern like adapter breeze decorator facade composite proxy and flyweight design pattern yeah now a third category of design pattern is called behavioral design pattern right uh, behavioral design patterns provide solution for the better interaction between objects and how to provide loose coupling and flexibility to extend easily right or you can uh, say in different words uh, this design pattern describes how one class communicates with other classes in loose couple manner yeah so whenever one class wants to interact with the uh, uh, other classes right in loose couple manner right so if you have if you have a two different uh, interfaces right incompatible interfaces or classes and you want to establish communication between these uh, two uh, two incompatible uh, interfaces or classes then uh, this design pattern comes into the picture yeah 
now that's all i have in this video tutorial guys so this was just an interactive video on design pattern in next series of video tutorial we'll see each and uh, every design pattern implementation so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial